Hey guys, so I'd asked a few of you, or I'd asked you guys if um, any of you needed help finding ideas for the makeup for the season. So it's a natural makeup, and when I think of natural, I think of like browns or something of that sort. So that's what I'm going to go for. Um, you could either prime your eyes. This just helps to keep the eyeshadow on and helps the color come out even better. You can use your foundation, you can use a concealer, you can use an eyeshadow primer, whatever. It doesn't really matter what you use, just something to kind of hold it on. And I do my eyes first just to let everything set as far as foundation goes or anything of that sort just like I'll put I'll put like pore filler on and a foundation primer just first just to let all that dry and set in and none of this is required it's just you know whatever you have whatever you feel as though you want to use it doesn't really matter okay so while that's setting I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow so that yeah and I'm only using like three or four brushes for this um, it doesn't really matter which brushes you use as long as you can kind of just blend with it. Um, I'm using kind of like a flat brush for my lids and two fluffy brushes for the crease. This one's bigger. It holds less product so you can kind of blend better. It fades better. And this one's more compact so that it really defines where the eyeshadow is going. I'm just using an angle brush just to set my eyeliner because I'm using liquid eyeliner. It doesn't matter what kind of eyeliner you use. It's all up to you. <coughs> um, so I'm going to start out with the big fluffy brush. And I'm going to kind of use a, a lightish brown color. I'm just using a color like that. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. And I'm just going to go... In my crease, I'm starting on the outer corner. I'm going to go in circles right there and then blend it through my crease, kind of with windshield wiper motions. So I get kind of like a, um, a brown smoky eye type look. This is going to be your transitional color, something light. After that, it looks kind of, you know. Good. Do the other eye, obviously. And just do the exact same thing. And my biggest problem is trying to get the colors to actually match. Normally I have one side that's darker than the other, or something of that sort. And that's the thing with browns. You have to kind of make sure that your eyes don't look too dark and remember this is also more than you would wear on a daily basis so don't make it all the way up to your eyebrow you know you still kinda want to have your facial features and then after I do that color I'm going in with my more compact brush and I'm going in with a slightly darker color not too dark I'm going in with that color right there like I said I don't know if the camera's picking it up but and I'm going to focus that more on the outer corner and about halfway through the crease. I'm not going to blend it all the way through. You can kind of see where it's at right now. Just to define that crease a little bit more so that the audience doesn't lose the actual shape of your eye.
and since I use my fluffy brush for my transitional color, it is a bit more above my crease, and that's perfectly okay. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to use the exact same brush and go in with a slightly darker color and just focus that more on the crease. Kind of put it in the exact same place. Focusing on the outer corner, blending it into the crease. And you really need to be, I guess, considerate with that color. Don't get a bunch on your brush if you need to, like, tap it off or whatever. Don't go haywire with this color because it's going to be way too dark. And then again, you can modify this if you want. This is your makeup. I'm just kind of giving you ideas and helping you along the way. And this, I'm going back in with my big Gur fluffy brush. Um, it still has a little bit of product on it, that's okay. But I'm just going to blend all three of those colors together using windshield wiper motions on my crease. You just kind of want all those colors to blend together very well. And I'm doing more of like a an oval shape because I do want my... The, the shape of my eye to actually stand out rather than doing a big cat eye or something of that sort. So just keep that in mind. This is just really simple. I'm going in with my little flat brush now. You can use whatever you want for this. And then you can also use whichever color you want for this. I'm just going to use a lighter color just to make my lid pop since I have all those darker colors and with the crease. I'm going in with kind of like a a pinkish color. Like I said, you can use whatever you want as long as it's more on the natural side. Like, don't use a, a sparkly blue or a green or anything of that sort. Keep with the natural theme. I'm going to kind of pat that on. And you can, can, can maybe, kind of see how that makes a big transition from the crease and your actual eyelid. I'm just tapping that on because that's how this brush works best. Well, you know, just personal experience. And I'm actually tapping that all over the crease. I'm not going halfway. I'm going all the way with it, if you can tell. Just to kind of lighten the look up a little bit. And sometimes... I take my big fluffy brush again and I take a little bit of that color on the outside and drag it in. It's all up to you. <coughs> Personal, you know, whatever word I'm trying to say. Now I'm going to go back to my foundation because I feel like my liquid foundation has to set before I really start touching it. So you can use whatever brand you want whatever works for you best. I'm using Revlon Nearly Naked. My color is 110 Ivory. And I just put that on the back of my hand. And I just kind of dot that all over my face. Do not use too much because when you go to put a powder on, you're going to look very, very powdery. That color is going to do nothing but, that powder is going to do nothing but cake up onto your face. At least that's how my foundation works. So just Kind of keep that in mind. I'm just dotting that sporadically all of my face, a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, how foundation works. And I normally get too much out on the back of my hand. I don't want to waste that because makeup is quite expensive. So I keep my foundation open and I put it back in there. You can wipe that off, whatever. You can use your hands to blend this in. You can use whatever. Woo. I use a kabuki brush when you go in circles. Blending that all through. Don't go over your 
eyeshadow all your lovely work that you've already done. If your color doesn't match you precisely, which it never does, you know, bring it down on your chin, your neck, and all that other good stuff. Make sure it's blended into your hairline. <coughs> now, I'm going to let that set, and I'm going to go on to eyeliner. Uh, I'm comfortable with liquid liner. It's all up to your preference. You don't have to use a liquid liner. But... I'm just comfortable with it. And I, I, it doesn't matter if you just make a little line on your eyes or if you like wing it out just a little bit. Don't, you don't need it all the way out with your eyeshadow. It's really not necessary. But, I just draw a line. Just the biggest things about these wings, if you do them, make sure they're even and do not blink. Why is that just it? No, nothing big, nothing extravagant if you do a winged eyeliner. But my thing with liquid is if there's a liquid, there needs to be a powder to set it. So I'll go with my angle brush after that liquid liner and I just tap that on with it, on top of it, just to set it. Mine's waterproof and I got it on my skin. Congratulations to me. I have black eyeliner all over my face. You know, something like that happens, you know, just wipe it off. And go back in with some foundation and go back over it. No biggie. And what I like to do after all that good stuff is. I love to widen my eyes with a little bit of white. So I just go into my inner corner. You can use a white eyeshadow. It doesn't really matter. Just use what you have. And I just kind of dab that on my inner corners. Ta da! And I blend it out so it's not so extravagant. It kind of just widens my eye a little bit. And then after all that good stuff, I just go and do my eyebrows, which obviously isn't mandatory. It's all up to you and your taste, you know, just fill around with your own makeup. And if anyone's interested on how you do this, um, I have an actual brow pencil. You can use eyeliner and set it with the powder. That's what I used to do. But a spoolie is like one of the actual recommended things 
for eyebrows. If you don't know what a spoolie is, it just looks like this. And then one of those are also helpful if you have clumping mascara. You can actually run it through, which is what I do every time I do mascara. Because normally I get eyeliner in my mascara, or in my eyelashes. But I'm just kind of using this brow pencil. Stay with your actual brow if you want to do that. <clears throat> and after I put the product through, I just blend it in with my little hairs. And it actually makes it different because after I put that foundation on, my eyebrows get lost. So, and then I go back in with my white because I need a highlight on top of my eyeshadow. And I just follow my brow. And this, you know, you can do this right after you, you know, finish your eyeshadow. This is just the order that I do it because I want to do my brows before I do my highlight. I make sure that that's blended very well. You know, it's not really harsh. Make sure that it's not taking over that brown. If it is, just go back in with that fluffy brush. Blend those in with each other a little bit. Ta-da! Okay. Um... You need a powder to set your liquid foundation. But before I do that, I go in with a concealer. I'm using Revlon Photo Ready. I use this under my eyes. And I go into a V shape. And you may want to do the white on your inner corners after you do this. That's just kind of going to brighten that up a little bit. I use two concealers because one of my concealers are way is way too bright. But you know, use what whatever you got. You don't this is optional. This stuff you don't have to use concealer. Again, this is just how I do things. That's perfect if you're having like a bad skin day or something like that. You can just cover everything up and the trick with that especially if you're using a brush, you can also use it with this concealer, the rough one. Um, if you're hiding a blemish, put it directly on the blemish and blend out the edges. That's going to actually hide the blemish instead of accentuating it. You just kind of blend that out with the foundation. And I do this before I put on my powder because it's more of like a, a tacky feel. And I really don't want my concealer moving. So I'm going to set it with that powder. And make sure your under eyes are blended all the way up to your lash line. Your bottom lash line. So that it's kind of a seamless look. And then I use a pressed powder. You can use whatever kind of powder you want. I use Neutrogena. It's all up to you. But I use a brush and make sure that you're pressing it into your skin. I always set my under eyes first because they may or may not crease. So kind of dab it everywhere. Make sure you blend it in with everywhere that you've put foundation. Done my foundation. <coughs> now I'll go back to my eyes. I only have one more thing to do. I take my spoolie, and since I know I got eyeliner. And my eyelashes. I burst that out. And I go in with my favorite mascara. 
This one is actually pretty cheap. I think it's actually at the dollar store. But try not to blink as much as possible when putting on mascara so that it does not translate onto your stuff. I put on two different mascaras. I use Mega Volume and I use an e.l.f. volumizing mascara. Do top and bottom. I put it at the root of my eyelashes and wiggle it up. Try not to touch your eyeshadow. <laughs> and after that, I put my finger under it, blink, and run it so that excess mascara can come off. Now, I do bronzer and blush, which after you put on all of that foundation your face is going to get lost so this is just kind of to situate everything now I have this cute little palette darker lighter blush I go in with this middle color to map out everything it still isn't a lot of color but I go in the hollows of my cheeks with that color And I go on my temples. Just to kind of make my face come back. But I usually start from the temple and make a C shape to my hairline on my forehead. And then my nose, I go down the sides just because my nose kind of gets lost. And I do the tip. And then I go in with the brown color. Or the darkest color. Like I said, all this is optional. Use what you have. And I just use that color in with the hollows of my cheeks. Now if you actually do get a bronzer, you can probably use it for your eyeshadow. Which is pretty great. And after I do that, I just take a fluffy brush. And I use circular motions going upward. <clears throat> and with that same fluffy brush, I dip it into the blush, put it on the apples of my cheeks, and blend backwards. And with that bronzer. And the best thing with bronzer is to not get something shimmery especially if you have some acne on your cheeks it just accentuates everything and after that like I said all this is optional I go on with some highlighter and if you want to do this you can use like a a white eyeshadow and you just put it on the top like the highest points of your face And sometimes I put it under my bronzer to kind of sharpen it a little bit more. <coughs> and lastly, lipstick. The most important thing to remember with this is don't go with anything wild. Go with something like a nude or a light pink. Uh, maybe not. Uh, this is Clinique Chubby Stick Intense. This is quite moisturizing. And just pop that on. Rub it in. And you're done. I hope this helped you guys a little bit. <laughs> Thanks.